Hello, 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 Virgo. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So Virgo, got the page of cups in reverse. Recompense, reward, repayment, reimbursement, recovery. When it's darkest, when it's black, out of the dark comes the light. So um, you may be waking up to somebody's tricks, being a trickster, lying. This could even be one of your children or a young person around you. You've just stopped giving to this situation, whether it was money, time, energy, love. You stop giving to it. You stop being lenient with someone. And now you want your money back. You want your time back. You want reward. You want recompense. You stop maybe being naive. And now you need this person to pay up. Or someone is asking this of you. You may be in a tough place or somebody was in a tough place. Or you let this person fall. Like you were always there to pick them up and pick up the pieces. And now you're letting them stay in that dark place. Because out of the dark comes the light. So now they're going to figure it out. Or they need to figure it out. Or this is what someone's doing with you. Somebody always was like barging into your life or barging into, I don't know, you know, just barging in and just upsetting the energy and asking of you and just really, you know, I don't know, taking, taking the energy to a turn to a place where, you know, it's crisis and you have to pick up the pieces and you have to fix and you have to do and. Um, there was also somebody who felt like they could be in and out of your life. They can barge in when they wanted to. They can leave when they wanted to. And you kind of shut the door to this. Um, let's see. You also may be saying you owe me or you need to pay me because if, if you're going to still be in a relationship, if you're still going to be married, then this needs to be, you know, recompense. It needs to be, um, you know, uh, reciprocated. The energy needs to be reciprocated. I need to be uh, rewarded, paid for this. Lovers, I can't make it up. So it's like, if we're going to be lovers, if you're going to have somebody else, or if you're going to have me as to somebody else to your already existing relationship, then it needs to be feasible monetarily for me to be a part of this. It's like you're waking up to the fact that maybe you you were being used or you weren't getting anything out of the, you know, the agreement. Eight of Cups. You're letting somebody sit in their energy also. Back to letting somebody deal with what they need to deal with. And you're no longer rescuing them. And you're walking away. Or you've walked away. It's out of self-respect. You're not going to keep doing this. You're not going to keep allowing this. This is a cycle. It's negative. You're going to break the cycle and move on. Um, only you know why you're walking away and not engaging. You also could just be walking away and just going on a spiritual journey and really trying to clear this karma. Okay. This is a dark place for you. Maybe you dealt with a lot with this person or these people. You dealt with. So this was like a cyclical relationship. They just cycle in and cycle out. You know. Yeah. Temperance. And it's like maybe you're dealing with um, uh, Sagittarius or somebody was wanting you when they wanted you. Then they didn't want you. You no longer just taking this or taking it you know sitting down you're standing up for yourself um you'll come to some compromise with this person but it's got to be feasible for you it's got to work for you too let's see you're letting this person be without you or be separated from you um out of the home, I don't even kick somebody out of the home, five of cups, you're letting them sit in the energy of missing you or missing out on the opportunity. Um, you're letting them mitigate these circumstances of not having or being in lack or lack of attention. What else is going on here for Virgo? You had a seven of wands standing up for yourself with the seven of wands, okay? Uh, even if it's like a minority position, everybody's on the other person's side. Everybody's saying, well, why don't you just, 
you're taking this stance and you're not moving. I don't know if it's like you're holding back something, you're holding back the child, children, you're holding back something from this person. Um, for whatever reason, you, you have your reasons. Yeah, Knight of Wands. You could be holding back sex or sexual activity or coming back or coming back to the home or you're moving or you're making moves or you're making moves without this person. Yeah, you by yourself. Nine of Cups, just have an emotional maturity, security by yourself. Four of Pentacles, holding back, holding on to a grudge, not letting go. Three of Cups, maybe with uh, siblings, children. Um, not talking to someone, divorce, separation, an end of a relationship. Somebody, maybe a Libra, someone here, made it misrepresented themselves like they were going to give you something or it was going to be more than what it was. And maybe you've ended this because you don't, you, you want to come out of feeling used either monetarily, emotionally, mentally, physically, and you're done. It's over. Let's get you some advice cards. It's like you were dealing with somebody. Maybe you have a tie with them. Maybe whether it's children or something of that nature. And this person was just allowing you to do all the work or pay for things. Or um, somebody was just taking more than they were given. It was extremely, you know, upset or offset. Let's see. They were barge in, barge out. They were nasty. They were using uh, nasty words. They were a complete bitch to you or vice versa. This is how somebody feels about you. It was all about money. It was all about maybe using children to get money. It was all about maybe um, picking up the pieces. Somebody would, you know, create a mess and then want you to clean it up. But yeah, taking action. You're moving forward and you're standing up for yourself. You're not allowing for somebody to come in with that destructive influence and get you all focused on them. And then they leave again. Yeah, if you believe you can have what you want and it looks like you're going to come to a place of not get into a situation anymore, you're not compromising. Or if you make a compromise, it has to be feasible for you also. It says look for a sign and be assertive. Be confident in the, that you're right and that you're doing the right thing, okay? So that's what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Who do you have to stand up to and be assertive to? Who are you putting up the boundaries with? Who can get no more money, no more love, more, no more anything from you? Let me know down in the comment section. Get your own uh, reading. Uh, there's a $25 reading, 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes for $25 on sale right now. I will link it below. Um, also, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're a business-minded individual, join the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call. Uh, where you're around like-minded business individuals each and every month. Or if you want to get, hop on a complimentary discovery call to see if I can help you with your business endeavors, go ahead and sign up for that too. Uh, the link will be below. And let's see what else I have to say. I think that's about it. All right. Uh, many blessings to you, Virgo. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.